The football clubs which pulled out of the controversial European Super League could be fined. And that's according to Real Madrid president Florentino Perez. He told a Spanish radio station that nobody has yet paid the penalization fee for leaving. He hinted at a clause which stipulates a fine for the eight clubs that have left. Perez also says the Super League is still alive. Uh, joining us to discuss this is Plus TV Africa's sports producer and anchor, Wally Scott. Good morning, Wally Scott. Perez says the league is still alive. How is that so? Very stubborn man, though. Um, you guys <laughs> leave the league and you guys um, form a breakout league. They've called it clandestine. They've called it everything wrong. Um, yes, these big clubs <clears throat> believe that... Um, the pandemic has come and gone, they've lost, they're counting their losses, and they want to make money, and quickly. But I understand that, but I think they're going about it the very wrong way, because um, they feel like we are the brands of the Champions League. Without the Real Madrids of this world, Man U, Chelsea, there's no Champions League, there's no Ronaldo, there's no Iguain. No yeah, I agree. But um, they should have done, had a meeting with the coaches, the players, the fans, to actually arrange this, but I just felt we're the big clubs, we have the money to spend, we don't need your consent, we just have to get it done. Now it's broken down, the fans have said we own the game. And they, they are protesting everywhere, and the clubs say, okay, we're not doing it again. If the fans don't like the idea, we don't want it either. And then Perez comes and says, listen, not all the clubs have backed out, only the English clubs have backed out. And then the Spanish La Liga clubs, the Italian clubs are still involved. And the ones who have backed out, we penalized. But last time I checked, UEFA, is the governing body of club football across the world. And mm. UEFA says, we don't want this. Perez is punishing them as who? But what you fines want... could that be? What? What fines could that be? I don't be? think they even deserve a fine, because in the first place, it's a breakout league. Because they're saying that they, there's, there's a clause that stipulates that they could be fined. Maybe while, they... while they were signing their contracts, who, how the contract is binding on who and how, I do not know. But I know UEFA says, we, don't, we, we can't see this. It's not, we're not involved in this. We are the club governing body of the world. We're not involved in this. So they are the only ones who can actually fine and ban anyone. And if, um, they, if they say that they can actually fine each other, and then maybe there's a clause, maybe they sign a contract in the course of their clandestine meetings, I do not know. So if it's UEFA well, that's you know, imposing these fines now, what, what should we be looking at? Who is the phony, phony final? Who has in, they are all illegal structures, you know? <laughs> Perez and Real Madrid and the Spa League are all illegal as far as we are concerned. Is, so who is finding who? Is there really, I mean, the Super League itself hasn't even started, you know? I mean, is there, is there a body that is called the We Super know League? for one that this is um, supposed to be in, in a gist. The guy who started this, Bartholomew, who was the president's Barcelona, has left his, his, his position as Barcelona president. So Perez and the rest of them, that has been planned for a long time, not now, you know, mm. since 2015. And as Sam Wenger found out and busted the bubble, but um, they covered it up and everything, but now it's out and um, it's obvious it's failing. And the, the only reason why it's failing is not because the mon money is involved, but I think they didn't go about it the wrong, right way. Coaches should have been involved, players the and fans. Were for example, fans are the same everywhere in the world. They will ask you, what's in it for me? Yeah. If the big, they have money, the club say fans, there's this involved with you, they will back up, back it's normal. So, so, um, they have money to yeah. spend. So when, when Perez says um, it's not over yet, you know, does that mean there's going to be restructuring? When Perez think? says it's not over yet, I think it's misconcepted when we say things about him. it. Be, people being fined, no. I think what it means is they are going to have a, a representation of the proposal. I think now they'll go the right way, go through the fans, okay. go through the coaches, go through the players go through the right way. I think they want to rearrange the package all over again. That's what it means by it's not done yet. All right. Thank There's you no very much, Wally Scott, for Thank the updates regarding the Super League. Yes. Well, he'll be giving you updates later on at around 9.30, uh, of course, after the news.